What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to the channel. I see that you guys are up for some juicy Vegas Pro content. Here is your handsome video editing instructor. Give it up for ya boy, OG. Just Alex Halford. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use lens flares on your videos, how to spice up your footage using like these lens flares that are coming in the screen, how to make it also follow certain objects into your own video. If you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started. Obviously, as always, right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro 17 and I have this stock clip of this Audi Q3 and what we're going to do is we're going to insert a lens flare into this clip and we're going to put these two on front lights. Now I want to mention that obviously you can use like lens flares that are like standing still or you can find like any like clips on YouTube about lens flares that you can use and just remove the background. But in today's video I'm going to show you how to actually make it follow an object or a part of the video instead of like just having like a still frame. So what you want to do is first of all you want to insert the clip of, that you want to use and you want to also insert a transparent image of a lens flare. Okay, so as you can see right now, if I lower the opacity of the car clip, this is the lens flare that we're going to use. First of all, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we'll actually follow this headlight and also this one too. Duplicate track where we have the car clip on. So we have two separate tracks with the exact same clip. Now let's go ahead and mute the lens flare for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to track these headlights. So what we need for that is the Beezer masking tool. So we're going to go to the video effects tab and we're going to pick Beezer masking and we're going to pick the default and we're going to drag it onto the top clip, not the bottom one, the top one. Okay. So now we're going to lower the opacity of the lowest track so we can see what we're actually selecting. So now what we need to do is we need to position this on the exact headlight. Make it a little bit smaller. We're gonna also tilt it just a little bit to the left. We're gonna also make it a little bit thinner that only the light is selected. So then what we need to do is we need to create like a lot of keyframes, but the Beezer masking tool is gonna do that for us. So we're gonna hit mask one and we're gonna scroll down until we see the tracking option. We're gonna click on that arrow and we're gonna also pick options. Precision has to be high because we want high precision, high masking, all that. But what we need to do then is we need to hit start. Now, as you can see at the very bottom, it is creating a lot of keyframes really, really fast because it's automatically tracking that object. Okay, so let's close out the Beezer masking for a second and let's see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see right now, the car is driving. If I higher the opacity just a little, you can see that it is nice and tracked and it is just following that light. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and place a picture and picture effect onto the lens flare. So go to the video effects tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see the P and we're gonna pick picture in picture, which is this one. So we're gonna pick the default one and we're gonna drag it onto the lens flare. And what we need to do now is position this lens flare on that headlight. Now, of course, we're gonna lower the opacity of the headlight just a little bit so we can actually like see through it. Now let's play it back. As you can see, it is nice in like the headlight zone, but it's not following along. And that's where we're gonna go ahead and select the lens flare clip and the clip that we put the Beezer mask in on. We're gonna both select them. Then we're gonna go to tools and we're gonna go to extensions and we're going to click on copy motion to PIP. Now, as you can see, it says done with copying motion data from mask one. So we're gonna click on okay. And as you can see right now, it is nice and following that actual lies. It is really nice and steady. But what we need to do is we can also position it by going to the track motion icon and put that lens flare just a little bit down, for example, like that. That looks really, really tight. If I play back the video, this is what it looks like. It stays nice in the center of that light. It's not going anywhere. And you want to basically do that for the other light as well. So we're going to basically duplicate the lens flare track. And we're going to go to the track motion icon. And we're going to just position the second one on that light. So that is what it looks like, guys. You can just put these lens flare on the, like the cars and everything. And keep in mind, guys, this is just an example of what you can do. I'm just using a car and like the front lights. But you can 
can basically do that by from any object that's flying by or moving across the screen. This is just an example showing you how to mask it along with an object, whether it's a car light, it is like a flying, maybe a drone or a plane or anything like that. And that's how to do it. It's really, really simple. And if you want to have like just regular lens flares, you can find them on YouTube and you can just download them, remove the black background by just putting it on the track and then just change the compositing mode to screen, which is actually gonna make it a lot better, if, as you can see. So if I do that for the other one as well, it is just like overlaying a little bit more realistically. And as you can see, this is how to do it, guys. It's like how to create these lens flares onto moving objects. It is really, really simple. Now, if you guys are tired from looking for effects, whether it's like overlays or explosions, smoke, dust, particles, anything like that, make sure to check out Production Crate. I've been using it for over two years now and over 50,000 people have already signed up if I look at the statistics so guys 50,000 people were before you don't hesitate don't sleep on these effects they're amazing they're free to use they don't cost anything but if you want to get like a little like more professional there's also a pro membership for only 49 bucks a year that's like four dollars a month that's not going to get you any copyright issues at all the link is down in the description that will lead you to production crate so guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video on the channel on Friday. Thanks a lot for the continued support. If you found this video helpful, make sure to reward it with a thumbs up down below. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in my next video.